Shifting gears now, Friar Fever is headed to Chicago. PC Friars flew to the Windy City yesterday ahead of their Sweet 16 matchup. And today, boosters, former players, fans, and other supporters made the trek. PC will play top seeded Kansas in the regional semifinals tomorrow night. The supporters got to fly on one of the Patriots planes as they had to cheer on the Friars before they boarded, uh, boarded the plane. They spoke to us about the plane and the team. It's a great perk. I mean, uh, last time, uh, the Friars won the tournament a few times, but uh, the Final Four this year is in uh, uh, New Orleans, and we were in New Orleans one time for the Final Four in Billy Donovan's year in 1987, so maybe we can get lucky, win a couple of games in Chicago, and end up back in New Orleans again. Good karma. Yes, it's great to see. I've seen it in 73 and 87. Can't believe it's been 25 years, but every year we root for them, we cheer for them, and we hope for this result, and here it is, going to the Sweet 16. And we actually featured Kerry Raffinelli on Street Stories earlier this month. He's in Chicago to cheer on PC. And that's also where we find sports director Maury Hirschgordon, who's been following the Friars on every step of their journey. Hey, Maury. Hey, Shannon. Yeah, this Friars team is living in the moment, soaking up every special moment that this 2021-2022 season has brought them so far, really getting a chance to experience what the tournament is all about now in the second weekend. It's such a quick turnaround from Selection Sunday to the first weekend, flew back to campus. They get to soak up the excitement from campus. Now they're just two wins away from the Final Four. We were here bright and early this morning when PC took the floor inside the United Center. It's an NBA arena, the house that Michael Jordan built, so much history, and there is no team in the country more ready for this opportunity than the Friars, and they get a chance to compete against one of the best programs in the country in top-seeded Kansas. It's, it's great for our school, um, and again, they are the blue blood. I know they're a win away from the all-time wins in the history of our game, and they've earned that. Coach Self is a Hall of Fame coach, great players, great staff. It's, uh, it's a challenge, a great challenge that we are prepared for, but an opportunity to play against a number one seed, uh, you know, it's just something that, you know, just stuff that you dream about, and uh, we're living that dream and hopefully continue to dream it big. All right, so the Jayhawks have been on this stage plenty of times before the program's 32nd appearance in the Sweet 16. The Friars, it's just their sixth time, but they've had a lot of success in the second weekend. Four and one all time in the Sweet 16. They'll look to make it five and one tomorrow night. Tip time at 7.30. We go one on one with the closer, point guard Al Durham coming up in sports. Until then, live in Chicago, Maury Hirsch Gordon, 12 News. Maury, thank you, and for all your PC Friars news, keep it here. Maury will have reports from the Windy City as the team takes on Kansas tomorrow night.